this is the Tesla supercharger Narden next to this hotel where I've been with the Honda e before that didn't work and now I'm trying the Ionic 5 that I just just tested at the v3 installation nearby which didn't work but now it might let's see so this is 5a So I'm starting the charge in the Tesla app. I'll plug it in. This is a different connector that actually fits better. As you can see. That was the lock. battery is between 22 and 28 degrees so that shouldn't be a problem and it is charging ah and it stopped charging failed so even the v2 installation this is only 150 kilowatts doesn't seem to work with the ionic 5 project 45 edition apparently other people are experiencing issues too at least the model s over there isn't charging so maybe i will try another stall just to be sure this machine is a little bit open here we go 15b let's see That was the lock and the click. A lot of Model 3s, a lot of Model S's. Of course, here the Model S is very popular because it can charge for free. Yes, it's ramping up. Aha. Uh -huh. So, it might have been the stall. I'm getting 96 kilowatt speed. It's working. 96 kilowatts what does that tell us about the specs though because i think i charged the porsche faster than this so i don't know what's going on with the 800 volt system uh, doesn't really like this setup it seems the battery temperature is fine so it seems stuck at 96 kilowatts and with the battery between 22 and 27 degrees I guess this is just uh, a configuration thing which is interesting because I got more speed out of the 500 volt chargers at Camp Power in Enschede time to clean the car I guess but where's uh, some water the actual charging going on over here okay so nothing is happening it is just fixed at 96 kilowatt speed time for me to go because I got one more thing to show you <laughs> 